According to the U.S. Department of Transportation, in 2014, there were over 3,100 deaths due to distracted driving. So the phone goes off before the car goes on. The Loudoun County School Board voted unanimously last week to name this stadium the FH Fur Field after the Manassas-based company made a quarter million dollar donation to help offset the cost of this turf field that was installed in 2014. The CIA says that the Loudoun County school buses were used for a canine training exercise during spring break when agents accidentally left an explosive device on board. The agency has said they've taken steps to prevent this from ever happening again. The FAA says that small drones can't be flown within five miles of most major airports and not within 15 miles of Reagan National Airport. But locally, the agency is receiving more than 100 reports of unmanned aircraft sightings each month. Now, this is one of your major arteries through the county. Russ Wall, a local property owner on Route 50, has seen lots of growth. Big time developments for commercial, residential, office space. So it, it's exploding right now. You're probably on the, on the cusp of it exploding. But that could change. The Dulles South community in Lowndes County has been up in arms since Dominion Virginia Power submitted plans to the county to put high capacity power lines along the Route 50 corridor. It's a, that's a tough thing to tell how it's affecting people. It's been almost six months since the power company submitted plans to the state for transmission lines to service this data center for Amazon, one of the world's largest online retailers. There are several concerns about these power lines and towers. One of those is the risk to the medevac capabilities of the newly opened HCA Stone Springs Hospital Center. Anytime you add more um, obstacles to those helicopter pilots, you're impacting um, potentially somebody's life. Another major concern is among business owners. They say the Route 50 corridor project could disrupt traffic patterns and even lower property values in the area. The power lines and the limitations it would create for that, for the property. You know, I can't underscore that enough that that would dramatically impact the county economically as well as the residents here. We reached out to Dominion Virginia Power for comment, but they did not return our call. While the plans for these power lines have not received the final approval, Dulles South residents still hope for an alternative plan that is a win-win for everyone. We're not asking for these towers to not come into our corridor. We're not asking for um, the data center to not have power. What we're really, what we are pushing for is for the right alignment for these towers. In Loudoun County, I'm Jody Donaldson. On any given weekend, you'll see the signs all over town for open houses. A good time for them to go through the open houses on their own, usually without the realtor, kind of get a feel for neighborhoods and what things are selling for. Realtor Tim Walshlack says several people plan their weekends around these opportunities to see the active real estate listings where they live or want to live. Just generally to see something that would fit my needs when I do a plan to find a house for myself and see what I like, see what I don't like, really see what's out there. But while open houses are a common practice of realtors selling a home, law enforcement officials say there is a huge safety concern for both the agent and homeowner. And just last week, an Ashburn area man was charged with stealing jewelry and other items from open houses across Prince William County. Most of the time they end up selling them someplace, usually at a pawn shop or some type of street uh, sales of some sort. According to police, 46-year-old Eric David Johnson was charged with four counts of burglary and four counts of grand larceny. Homeowners can reduce the risk of becoming a target by taking these simple steps. Remove valuables from view and store them in a safe, locked place. Remove all prescription medicines and lock those up too. Don't forget about small electronics such as laptops, iPads, smartphones, and other electronic devices that are easy to tuck in a pocket. Don't hide anything in your top dresser drawer, a go-to spot for thieves. Make sure your computers are locked with the passcode. Bills, checks, bank statements, passports, and ID cards should be secured. And if possible, don't use any heirlooms or valuable possessions to stage your rooms. And arguably, the most important tip. Yeah, I would afterwards go around, check your house, make sure that you all your items are still there. I would also go through and check your doors and windows, make sure they weren't unsecured in any way. In Fairfax County, I'm Jody Donaldson.